Hello everyone, um, this is another tutorial about Play Framework 2.0. Um, I want to show you how to include the Twitter Bootstrap into your application. It's pretty simple. So um, what you have to do, you have to download, go on the Bootstrap website and download this boot, the Bootstrap stuff. Um, you have to include it in your public directory in your Twitter. I called my application Twitter. I generated it, Eclipsified it, and brought it into Eclipse. So now you will have um, also like a public directory, and there is like a Bootstrap min.js. I put it in there, and also a Bootstrap min.css in there. Um, these are the basic files you need. Um, and when you start with the play framework, it looks exactly your two view classes, view um, files, look are exactly these ones. And I included these, you can see here, here's my, I also made a comment here. Um, this is my CSS, what I included. And this is my JavaScript I included. That's actually the wrong way around, but you know the main idea. So what you have to tell um, Play Framework is that it's the source looks a little bit different than in usual um, websites. Roots point assets at. That's how you declare something. It's in the public directory. So um, what you have to do is to include these both scripts, like this one. And here is my CSS here. Um, when you've done that, everything should run already. But what you should do is here in the main, because everyone, everything inherits from the main Scala HTML in, in that case, um, you have to define this one as a container, um, the class should be a container. So actually, you do not have to write it all the time again when you um, when you build your application. So we can compare this with the Bootstrap website. Um, let's look about that here. Um, Bootstrap. Yeah. So when we have a look at the example, Here's the example. Let's take it like this one. Um, we have a look at the source code. You can see here, everything starts here with the container inside of Bootstrap. So, and after that, um, everything looks nicely. So we just copy and paste that code inside here. But this time, we will put it in our index Scala because this is like the, the file for the message, and instead of the message, it will just display the content of the standard of this example website of Twitter Bootstrap. So I just put this outside, and now I can, whatever I want to do, I can just define nicely inside here. Um, of course, if you also want to use icons and stuff, you have to um, put them in your um, directory as well. But for this, it's just for the introduction, um, how you actually put this in nicely. So let's have a look at that. Um, I didn't know if I started my application. Yeah, it's already started. Um, it's, I have it on the port 8080, don't get confused by that. So here is my welcome to play and everything is formatted by the Twitter bootstrap. So actually only a few steps to make your application or even if you do want to do like smaller projects to make it look nice. So um, this is everything for today. Um, if I missed anything, just let me know, leave a comment. See you next time, bye bye.